This glutinous rice balls dessert is modified, transforming the traditional Lunar New Year Tang Yun into something more fun and festive for the Year of the Tiger. The recipe calls for glutinous rice flour, black sesame drink, which will be 80% of the weight of the flour in volume, and the same for the carrot juice. So for approximate measurements, 100 grams of flour will require 80 mils of liquid. Divide your liquids in half, and in this case, it's going to be your black sesame drink and your carrot juice. Place one of the two containers in the microwave and allow the liquid to boil. This should only take a few seconds. The reason we add boiling liquid to the flour is that it allows the flour to absorb the liquid very quickly, which results in a smoother, more pliable dough that is silkier and easier to work with. This process is called gelatinization. Now that I've heated up my black sesame drink, I can make a well in my glutinous rice flour bowl and pour the hot black sesame drink into the flour. Using a pair of chopsticks, stir the mixture until the liquid has been fully absorbed. After the liquid has been fully absorbed, add the room temperature black sesame drink until the flour is completely incorporated into the liquid. The actual flour may appear crumbly, but do not add more liquid until you knead the flour by hand. If you think your flour is too dry, you can add more liquid a teaspoon at a time. Do not add too much liquid. It may appear dry, but after some kneading, it will come together and form a ball. Now you can place it on your work surface, gather all the extra dry flour together, and continue kneading on your work surface for about a minute until it feels smooth and pliable. You will never be able to attain a truly black color, but more like a gray color due to the fact that you are adding a lot of glutinous rice flour. If you're specifically making a black dough and the black sesame drink is not giving enough of a black color, grind up some more black sesame seeds in a coffee grinder. Make sure that you grind it really fine and do taste the sesame seeds because sometimes they might be a little bitter, in which case you may want to add a little sugar into the mixture. Do the same thing for the orange colored dough. Now that both colored doughs have been made, it is now time to incorporate them together. First, we're going to roll or flatten out the first color dough to about a quarter inch thickness. Do the same thing for your other piece of dough. After both doughs have been rolled out, place one dough on top of the other and start to roll both the doughs into a Swiss roll. Continue to roll your Swiss roll into a long snake that is about an inch and a half in diameter. Then, using a dough cutter or knife, cut your dough snake into one and a half inch pieces. Using both your palms, roll the dough into balls. To cook the glutinous rice balls, bring a large saucepan of water to a boil. When the water is boiling, gently stir the water as you add the glutinous rice balls to prevent the glutinous rice balls from sticking to the bottom of the saucepan. The glutinous rice balls will immediately sink to the bottom and as it cooks it will start to float. Once the balls are floating at the surface of the water, cook for an additional minute and then using a slotted spoon remove the cooked glutinous rice balls from the water. Now your glutinous rice balls are ready to be either made into a savory soup or a sweet glutinous rice ball dessert. For the syrup, instead of using water and sugar, 
I prefer to make it a little healthier by combining milk, coconut milk, and a little bit of condensed milk. I will combine and microwave these three ingredients to my liking. Now pour the sweetened milk mixture into the individual serving bowls, add your glutinous rice balls, and then top it with some black sesame seeds. Enjoy! Have a good Chinese Lunar New Year and Gong e Ka Choi. More recipes can be found on SammyWongsKitchen.com or social media. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks!